Hey hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel I am Mathis Raj and you are watching God Freaks. In this video I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the July 9th IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So this is the question that we are going to solve today. So this question is all about uh, actually by looking into this question many people don't understand what this question is all about. So let me explain what is the question. Okay so firstly we are firstly what this question is all about means firstly we will be buying two integer values so first value is 12 and second value is 100 okay so between this uh, uh, 12 and 100 we will be finding uh, what are all the numbers which are divisible by 3 okay so between this 12 and 100 what are all the numbers which are divisible by 3 so here are the list of numbers which are divisible by 3 between 12 and 100 okay so 12 15 18 up to 99 up to 99 so these are the numbers which are divisible by, divisible by 3 uh, from 12 to 100 okay so among these uh, numbers we will be finding which are the numbers are even numbers okay so firstly we will be finding even numbers among these uh, 12 up to from 12 to 99 okay so I will be putting okay so these are the numbers okay so these are the numbers which are even numbers from 12 to 99 okay which are divisible by 3 as well as they are even numbers okay so firstly what we want to calculate is firstly we will be calculating the sum firstly we will be calculating the sum of these numbers so the sum of the numbers we will be getting as 810 okay so after that we will be calculating the count so let me calculate the count so the count is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay so there are 15 numbers okay so we will be we got the output as 15 in the count okay so by calculating the sum of these values we will be calculating the sum and then there are count 15 okay so i think that everybody understood the question so let's move into the coding session so actually this is a very a very very easy question so i think that everybody understood the question so let's move into the coding session okay so guys finally i am entering into the coding session so in this coding session i will be using java as my program language so let's begin the coding so public i will be creating a new class called public class pp and then i will be insulating a main method and then after that i will be creating a scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner or system dot in ok uh, sorry system dot in ok so then after that i will be uh, importing this scanner class ok import import java dot util dot scanner ok then firstly first job i want to do is i want to buy two input from the user input integers from the user ok so that i will be putting int a equal to sc dot next int ok then after that i will be putting int b equal to sc dot next int ok so uh, suppose consider this uh, a equal to 12 as well as uh, b equal to 100 ok so then i will be putting uh, for int i equal to a i less than b i plus plus and then if this is satisfied then i will be putting a for loop if i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 so why, uh, why i put i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 between 12 and 100 it should be divisible by 3 ok so between 12 and 100 the values when it is divided by 3 the remainder should be 0 ok so then and uh, i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 so between I, why i put i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 because when it is divisible when it is uh, divided by 2 the remainder is 0 so when it is divided by 2 it is uh, the remainder is 0 so that must be an even number right so uh, my condition is it's uh, between 12 and 100 it should be divisible by 3 as well as it should be an even number right so for that i will be putting i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 as well as i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 okay then if this condition is satisfied firstly i will be initializing uh, sum value as 0 as well as count value as 0 okay so if this condition is satisfied then sum equal to sum plus i then count plus plus okay so uh, between 12 and 100 there are approximately uh, 
15 values which are divisible by 3 as well as it is an even number right so the sum of that particular uh, 15 values is 810 right okay so then that uh, count will be 15 right so i to told you in that explanation session right so what is my logic is for int i equal to a int i equal to 12 i less than b i b is 100 so int i equal to a i less than 100 i plus plus and then if uh, i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 and i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 the sum equal to sum plus i okay sum equal to sum plus i is 810 so when the loop is uh, exited then it will be coming out of the loop and then i will be printing the output okay so me sum uh, double quotes sum equals plus sum system dot out dot print then count equals okay so the, these are the two outputs okay so we'll be getting firstly 810 as well as 15 okay so this is the proper method okay so this is the logic also okay so finally we uh, uh, finally we ended our coding so i think that everybody understood this particular code right so this is very very simple so uh, i think that everybody understood the logic right so finally we are moving into the output session so i think that we will be getting the output so let me check so guys finally we are entering into the output session so we are going to check whether the output is correct or not so for that i will be putting java c oh sorry java c pp dot java okay we will be checking whether the output is correct or wrong so java pp so firstly our value is a equal to 15 right so it's 12 okay after that b equal to 100 right okay so here we got the value as sum equal to 810 and count equal to 15 right so this is uh, the output okay so guys i am keep on saying it do practice and practice daily and daily so one or two problems do practice it so that you can be able to easily crack the 15 mark questions very easily so because 15 mark questions are very very easy so many of the people think it very difficult so so many people are not reading the questions and writing the code and then they are uh, not yeah. getting the proper output so now uh, read the question and write the proper code and apply the proper logic okay so meet you guys in the next video with a new code so till then tata bye bye see you and thank you guys